Hello, in this video we have this interesting exponential equation. We have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 and to the power of k and this is equals to 5, 1, 2. We are going to find the value of k that will satisfy this equation. So let's start with solution. Now we can recall the problem. We have 2, power 3, power 4 and power k. This is equals to 5, 1, 2. Now we can go ahead and split this into two numbers that if we multiply, we're going to have 5, 1, 2. And one of those numbers must be an even number. So let's go ahead and do that. So you're going to have 2 power 3, power 4, and power k to be equals to. We can split 5, 1, 2 into, we have 16 times 32. 16 times 32 is 512. And this 16 here is a perfect square. So right now, you're going to have 16 times 32. Now, let's continue on this part of the board. We have 2 power 3, power 4, and power k to be equals to. 16 here is a perfect square, so we can write it as we have 2 power 4, or we can write 4 power 2. They are all the same. So if we have 2 power 4 times, you have 32. And 32 is simply 2 power 5. Now, let's consider this identity. If you have a power n times a power m is simply equals to a power n plus m. So that's what we're going to apply here. That means you're going to add 4 plus 5. So you're going to have 2 power 3, power 4, and power k to be equals to 2 to the power of 4 plus 5. So this becomes, we're going to have 2 power 3, power 4, and power k to be equals to 2 power 9. So at this point, the basis here are the same. So we can actually cancel that out. Now, if we continue here, you're going to be left with this exponent and this one here. So you're going to have 3 power 4 power k to be equals to 9. What next can we do at this point? 9 here is a perfect square. So if we have 3 to the power of 2, it's going to be 9. So let's have 3 power 4 power k. And this is equals to, instead of 9, we have 3 power 2. Now the bases are the same once again. We cancel it out. Now let's compare the exponents. We have 4 power k to be equals to 2. Now 4 here is a perfect square. That is equivalent to 2 power 2. So you can write 2 power 2 or power k. And this is equals to 2. Right? Now let's consider this identity as well. If you have a power n or power m is equals to a power n times m. That means we're going to multiply this 2 by k. Now, because of space, let's go to the next slide. So we have 2 power 2 or power k, and this is equals to 2. And this 2 is to the power of 1, because 2 power 1 is 2. Right now, from that identity, we're going to multiply this out. So we have 2 power 2 times k is 2k, and this is equals to 2 power 1. Right now, the bases are the same once again, so we cancel up. Then we have 2k to be equals to 1. That means we divide both sides by 2, we divide this by 2, this cancels this, and we have k to be equals to 1 divided by 2. Now, we are not done yet. Let's go ahead and check if this will truly satisfy the equation. So recall the problem. We have 2 power 3 power 4 power k to be equals to 5, 1, 2. And we have discovered that k, this is equals to 1 over 2. So let's substitute it. We're going to have 2 power 3 power 4. Power 1 over 2 must be equals to 
5, 1, 2. Now, let's start with this. 4 power 1 over 2. If we have 4 power 1 over 2, it simply equals to square root of 4, which is equals to 2. That means the whole of this is 2. We're going to replace this with 2. And our equation becomes 2 power 3 power 2 should be equals to 5, 1, 2. So let's continue here. Now, 3 power 2, we're going to consider this. 3 power 2 is simply 3 times 3, and that is 9. So we have 2 instead of this. We're going to replace this with 9. We have 2 power 9, and this should be equals to 5, 1, 2. Meanwhile, what is 2 power 9? 2 power 9 is simply equals to 2 into 9 places 2 times 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 2 and times 2. This is 2 into 9 places. So you have 2 times 2. This is 4. 4 times 2. This is 8. 8 times 2. This is 16. 16 times 2. That is 32. 32 times 2. That is 64. 64 times 2. That is 1 to 8. 1 to 8 times 2. That is 256. 256 times 2. That is 512. So that means we have 512 to be equals to 512. So that means this is absolutely very correct. So that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.